The Super Bowl last night was not a sweet victory, neither for the LA Rams or about 1.2 million people on the internet. The story that led to the overnight outrage began just over two months ago with news of the passing of Steven Hillenburg, the creator of SpongeBob SquarePants, the animated juggernaut back in late November. Following that, a petition began to roll around the internet asking for the NFL to play Sweet Victory from the 2001 episode Band Geeks at this year's halftime show in tribute. This specific song was floated in particular as it's both an elaborate performance and it's basically sat at the Super Bowl, though it's not mentioned by name. The whole song itself is just about 90 seconds, which doesn't make it seem like that much of a challenge to add in. We're not asking for Bohemian Rhapsody here. The actual petition got just over 1.2 million signatures, and though not enough for its goal, reflected the mood of many a SpongeBob fan, young and old, who have liked to see a respectful tribute, especially given the pieces are right there. You could have called Viacom up well in advance to get the licensing out of the way. Instead, what we got at the Super Bowl 53 halftime show was a five or so second clip of all the talk before the song started, apparently reanimated for 16 by 9 before leading right into the open for Travis Scott's sicko mode. While some found even the mention an acceptable tribute, others found the fact that they didn't even use the song unacceptable and even disrespectful. Honestly, all I ask is, why didn't they? Viacom is clearly drawing no stranger to licensing arrangements, as they recently signed a new deal to shut off some of their shows to Netflix, first among them Nickelodeon's Pinky Malinky back in January, and the NFL is no stranger to tributes, spending over a minute paying respects to Prince at last year's halftime show, though to be fair, last year's game was in Prince's hometown of Minneapolis. While perhaps not as moving among older crowds as Purple Rain, SpongeBob premiered in 1999, the episode where Sweet Victory appeared, heard in 2001. Anyone under 35 is sure to know, or at least have heard of, Spongebob, and many of their parents probably at least recall seeing said kids under 35 watch it, so it's something with at least some appeal to the 100 million plus watching. Secondly, the whole song is about a minute and a half, so it definitely could have been stuck in, at least in part, in between the two performers' medleys, perhaps by cutting out one of the older, less now relevant Maroon 5 songs. I think I heard one in there right for the purpose. Even just part of the song would have gone down better than none of it at all. Travis Scott's entrance was completely unrelated to the SpongeBob scene, so any connection between the two scenes preparing a play is also not a theory. The Super Bowl halftime show, while the biggest audience in music by way of being tied to the biggest audience for anything on TV ever, was honestly a bit lackluster this year anyway. Maroon 5 isn't exactly the freshest artist out there, and I doubt Travis Scott's fans typically cross over that much with the NFL's audience. They've had better, more memorable years, left shark anyone, but their aim musically is seemingly regularly off base to anyone who follows hit music. It wasn't helped by the fact that they were grasping at straws anyway this year because their first and second choices refused over the league's position on anthem protests, and even getting these two were a bit of a challenge. But not having sweet victory in the Super Bowl seems like another fumble for them, another cultural near miss that will make this year's halftime show largely unmemorable once the outrage over this dies down, unless you're really a fan of who performed it. And dare I suggest it might turn off a few younger people who the game will be relying on for ratings maintenance for the next few decades. It's tough to please an audience that is one third to one half the population of the entire country, but you could have really, really done that. The Super Bowl 53 halftime show was not more than okay, Pepsi. It was honestly not okay. Okay? Okay! I'm Benzie Johnson Jr. and I'm enthusiastic about television, and if you are too or just interested in exploring, then hit subscribe for new videos every single week. I'll see you next time.